President Trump is touting his own influence and high Republican turnout in primary elections held yesterday in eight states. Much of the focus, of course, was on California, where the state's unusual jungle format could have locked out one party completely out of the November races. Correspondent Peter Ducey is in Del Mar tonight with an update. California's gubernatorial primary didn't have a blue wave, instead a Republican riptide. Make California the golden state once again. With that familiar sounding slogan, after a strong finish that put him on the ballot, Republican John Cox is channeling President Trump, while Democrat Gavin Newsom is tweeting to him, urging the commander in chief to go further than just congratulating the candidate he helped with an endorsement with this, quote, please come campaign for him as much as possible. Voters will have a real choice this November between a governor who's going to stand up to Donald Trump and a foot soldier in his war on California. But Cox is correcting Newsom. And it wasn't Donald Trump that passed the sanctuary state. Gavin, you did that. For weeks, California's airwaves were blanketed with campaign commercials, but turnout was still a soft 21.9%, 3% lower than the 2014 gubernatorial primary. Some voters ran into trouble because a printing problem in L.A. County left 118,000 residents off the rolls at 1,500 precincts. In some of those, it was as many as a few hundred. It wasn't just a long night for the L.A. registrar. It took hours to learn that Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, who failed to win the state party's endorsement, would be challenged by the more progressive state senator, Kevin DeLeon. It also took a while until results in Orange County's expensive primaries began to trickle in. And when they did, Democrats were relieved to have seen candidates claw their way onto ballots everywhere, including districts they risked coming in third place, too low for the November ballot. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee says its data-driven investments to California will continue to pay dividends in November and beyond. Talk like that doesn't impress one incumbent who won with a healthy margin last night, Republican Congressman Dana Rohrabacher. How many times do we have to hear, oh, there's a blue wave and it's going to knock us all down. Well, the blue wave didn't hit. Republicans are defending 10 House seats here and found out late last night they've got something new to offer voters who are also hearing from a very energized Democratic base, and that is the opportunity to vote for the first Republican governor to elect the first Republican governor in this state since Schwarzenegger. Shannon? Well, everybody agrees he's got an uphill battle, but we've seen other things happen. Uh, Peter Ducey, thank you very much for your reporting out there in California.